The Air Force Small Business Innovation Research Program has funded many critical and commercially successful technologies. This is the story of one of them. There is a new enemy that operates in the shadows, whose weapon is computer code. It can steal, disable, and destroy vital information and assets as effectively as any conventional weapon. The Air Force SBIR program has funded valuable cybersecurity innovations to thwart these attacks. The digital age has transformed modern life, but it has brought with it new and sinister threats. A small army of computer scientists and security analysts are employed by companies, government agencies, and other organizations to counter these threats. In the late 1990s, Juanita Calipale was part of a small team of eight computer scientists working for a network management company supporting over 150 customers worldwide. We were working all the time. And so I decided, you know, I was married, I wanted to have children, I couldn't continue to do this. I needed more control over my life. So Juanita began applying for small business innovation research contracts. This is what's interesting about these small business innovative research projects. Every six months, they have these solicitations. They, they release all these ideas, these hard problems that they want to solve. Anybody can respond to any one of these. One of the contracts she applied for and won was with the Air Force, which helped fund a company she founded called Mountain Wave. So the Air Force One was looking for large scale network management attacks. We're looking for how do we handle this on a large scale. Juanita and her team ended up building an interactive attack sensing warning tool called CyberWolf. So the machine can say, I don't know what this is, what this means. Flag it. So then your analyst says, machine doesn't know what this is, let me tell it what this is. This machine learning tool had a very important benefit. If an analyst left, their know-how was stored in the system. This gave CyberWolf broad commercial appeal. People are asking for this, so we, we have to brand this. And through the Air Force Research Lab, when you're doing a phase two, they provide a team of people to help you write a business plan. It's not a virus, it's a CyberWolf was quick to show its value in the summer of 2001. 300,000 systems in nine hours. Protecting the Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA, from a nasty computer worm called Code Red that invaded the computers of other government agencies and the White House. This caught the attention of the internet giant, Symantec. Made us an offer we couldn't refuse. We were still small, we were like nine people. And when we sold to Symantec, everyone, all our customers were very excited because until then they were banking on a very tiny company that could disappear tomorrow. And so, and at Symantec, um, they already had a, a system that they had put together and our uh, engine got inco incorporated into it for managing antivirus data streams, their firewall data streams. Hey, Dan. Hey, how's it going? Busy. I've got to work. Two years after selling CyberWolf, Juanita was ready for another challenge, this time focused on digital risk management. She started a new venture, Waverly Labs, employing the knowledge she gained from her Air Force SBIR-funded experience. I learned a lot. It helped me grow. It helped me run my business, right? It helped me figure out how to present myself, how to, you know, hire engineers, how to run a business. That's all stuff that I never learned in school. You know, I had wonderful mentors within the Air Force, outside the Air Force, through people I met. Protecting U.S. interests while fostering entrepreneurship, a goal made possible by the Air Force Small Business Innovation Research Program. Learn more at www.afsbirstr.com.